Yeah. Um, can you can you guys hear me? Is this on? Can you hear me? All right. Um, once again, I want to start off by giving glory to God. Um, unbelievable to be in this position to coach these guys. It's such a blessing, and um, we continue to stick together. It's been a it's been a, a hard fought road trip, but to your point, we we stuck together through their runs, and we knew that they were going to make some. And this is a tough place to come in and get wins. Um, so big time credit to our guys in the locker room. They, they hung in there. They, they played an excellent game, and they finished it out. What did you like from three-point land concerning CJ and Trey tonight? Because that was huge from beyond yeah. the arc. I like the fact that we, we generated our threes off our stops. Uh, we got stops. We rebounded the ball. We got out in transition. And when those, when those guys have space and any daylight, they let it fly. And, and that's our motto, you know, shoot quality shots. If you don't like it, point five, drive the ball, swing it, and they got it going early. Someone might look at the stat sheet and think Dyson had a pedestrian night, but how would you describe his contribution to tonight's win? Oh, well, Dyson was huge. His ability to guard multiple positions, we put him on staff, and um, that's always a tough cover no matter who it is. But he and Herb, they tag-teamed him. Um, he rebounds the ball. He, he's he's solid, um, getting us in the sets and getting guys into plays. And so he, he had a really solid night for us, and he, he's getting better and better. Overall, how do you like where your team sits looking at the postseason picture in terms of your preparedness and your growth? All we can do is focus on what we can control, and that's what we've been doing, um, just taking it one game at a time and – we know if we do that and we come out, we execute, we play with physicality and force, we play with speed, uh, we give ourselves a chance to, to win the game, and that's what we've, we've done that on this road trip. Hey, Coach. Uh, Zion, six steals, a block, plus 15. What does it do for this team when he's that engaged and active on the defensive end? It energizes the whole team when he's rebounding the ball, when he's solid defensively, which he's been doing over the last several months. It allows his team to play with force. He's rebounding. He's initiating a break. He's getting kickups. Guys are getting open threes. Defensively, we're communicating. Um, Zion's been incredible. It's incredible to watch. Um, some of the things that he, he does on the floor, uh, it never gets old. And what do you attribute that defensive improvement to over the last couple of months that you mentioned? Making a commitment to team defense. Um, we know that in order to beat the best teams, one through five have to be able to guard. And he's committed. He's committed to guarding on both. He's committed to guarding. He's committed to sharing the ball. When he has opportunities to score, he attacks. And um, he's putting together a string of games that's, that's pretty incredible to watch. Uh, Coach, uh, you talked a little bit about Trey already, but can you talk about his ability to make threes from like over 30 feet? I think most <laughs> of his threes were 30 plus. Well, when he's when he has it going, he's he's gonna shoot it from anywhere, and and um, he works on those shots in practice. So, look, if he has a hot hand, we we get it to him, and we expect him to make those shots, and he does. And it, you know, it, it's incredible. But at the same time, he puts the work in in practice. So we we've seen him do it before. All right, thanks, guys.